Hey guys, so today I'll be filming a Halloween makeup look on what I'm wearing right now. I did a fairy kind of makeup look. Um, I was going to dress up as a fairy this year when my hair is still kind of pink, but me and my boyfriend decided to do something else. So I was like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and still film this look for you guys. I used the Juvia's Place, the Masquerade palette to do all of the coloring and everything. So, in case you were wondering, and if you have it, you can follow along. Um, but yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching and we will go ahead and get started. Alright, so first I'm going to dip into the Masquerade palette. And I'm going to go in with just a dense brush. Mine just happens to be the Morphe E22. And I'm going to dip into the shade Makita. It is the purple in this palette. And I'm going to put this all over my eye. I couldn't get my bag drop up, so you guys are looking at all the random crap in this office room. So, sorry about that. One of the hooks for my, like, curtain backdrop thing, like, broke. So, and I haven't fixed it yet because I've been really busy. Alright, now I'm just going to take a small blending brush which is the Morphe M433. I'm going to dip just a little bit into the shade Burkina. It's like a nice kind of brown nude and blend out the edges. I already went ahead and did one side just to make this a quicker tutorial and that way you guys can see what it will look like. So yeah. I'm going to take this makeup wipe and clean it up just a little bit to match the other side. So, now I'm going to take a smaller dense brush, this Morphe E18, and dip into the purple Makita shade and put this all over the bottom part of my eye. And then I kind of use it to make sure it's packed on. Because I don't want it to be white or patchy. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to take this um, just fluffy BH Cosmetics brush and dip in to the shade Zillow. It's like this bright aqua blue and I'm going to put that on the side of my eye, like when I'm in my eye, like the side of my face. So I'm trying to match it up to what I already did previously. I just kind of went on the outer part of my face and started rubbing some color on there. So like this one is like about an inch thick, so I'm going to do the same over here. It's almost right up against my eye. You can do whatever you colors you want to, obviously. I just really like blue and purple together. So that's what I decided to do. And I'm just going to take this um, same brush and dip into the purple Makita shade. And I'm going to put that on the outer part. And I'm going to kind of blend this in together. So I'm going to dip into the blue. And I'm going to also dip into the shade, shade Kai, I think it's how it's pronounced, or Chi. 
to help me blend things out. So now that I just have a big thing of color on my face, I'm going to go with my Maybelline eyeliner and this little tart brush that I always use, and I'm going to zoom you guys in. Hopefully, you can still see, but I'm going to try and match it to this other eye, which might be kind of tricky. I just drew the line straight out like I did on the other side. And I'll thicken it up. Okay, and about there is where I started drawing my design. So, I always took it in towards my face, which you can obviously do whatever. So, I know first I had like a little one. A little circle thingy. Okay, and then next I have one going down right by it. And if it's not exact, it's okay. I know this one's probably going to be bigger, but it's fine. This one's thicker, but afterwards I'll go up and even some things out. First I just want to get my design so that way it's on. So next I have another one coming down. Like that. And then I have another one going that way but out. that comes off of this one. This is going to be bigger, but it's fine. Alright, next I have a little, actually we'll do the higher ones first. So, and then I have another one behind it doing the same thing. Some baby hairs are gonna get out of the way.
करते हैं do that little one right here that comes down Let me unzoom it. Alright, now I'm going to take the other end and dip it into my little um, makeup remover to kind of tell that part down. Since it's right by my face. Now I'm just going to take a Q tip and wipe that part off. Here we go. Alright, now I take this um, BH Glitter Eyeliner from BH Cosmetics and it's called Rapture. So I put it on thick and I put it right here on this little design part because I like sparkles. So. You don't have to do this, I just think it gives it an extra, like, oomph, so, it's just my preference. Now I'm just going to go back in and do my liner on my eye using the same Tarte and Maybelline liner. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with this Morphe E36 brush to do my inner corner highlight using the shade Giza. And then I'm also going to put this as my eyebrow highlight. Okay. So next I'm just going to go ahead and go through and touch some stuff up. So I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics fluffy brush I use and dip into the shade Makita to darken up. This outer part. Alright, so next is time for mascara. And I'll be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Just go ahead and coat my lashes real quick. Alright, and then for falsies, I am using the Slayla from Flutter Lashes, and then to put them on, I'm using the Ardell Lash. Grip eyelash adhesive. This is like the only glue I use. It stays all the time and it's not expensive at all. So 
So I put it on a Q-tip, and then I will take my lash and just go ahead and put it on there and pop her on my eye. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put my other lash on and then we will finish up the rest of this look. Alright, now that my false lashes are on, I'm going to go ahead and do my blush. And I'm just going to take just like a random brush. I'm just going to use this one. No, never mind. I'm going to use this one, just like a normal brush. And I'm going to dip into this um, Glamorous Brush uh, BH Cosmetics one. And I'm going to go with this purpley color right there and then the one above it. I'm going to mix those two for my blush. And since I have stuff on my cheeks, I'm only going to put it like right here. Just so that it gives me some more color. Next, I'm going to use some highlight from the Moonchild kit, and I'm going to go with the Blue Ice highlight. It's my highlight brush. There it is. And I'm just going to go ahead and go with that. Do it right here. And I'm going to put a little bit on my nose and chin. Alright, next I'm going to go in with lipstick and I'm going to use this shade called Frostbite from the Urban Decay Vintage Collection. And I think that is everything for this look. Um, what I thought about doing was putting some glitter like on either my bottom lash or near my eyebrow. But I kind of like it just like this. So yeah, this is the completed look. Wow, it's about to storm really bad. And yeah, if you guys enjoy it and if you want to see any other Halloween looks, let me know. Um... Yeah, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.